Well, that's a very nice entrance to that farm there. That's really cool. Huh. Sorry, it's going to be very windy, very loud. But there's only one way I can show you what's going on. <laughs> Here, I'll show you my load. Don't go that way. Yeah, there's a reason I'm going to show you my load here on the side of the road, but hopefully the wind's not too bad. Here's what I got. I've been holding off showing you because I've just been going. I want to get all this stuff done, right? So I got loaded up in Casper, Wyoming. This is all I got. Hopefully... Nobody ever seems to know what the revenue is on this stuff, so hopefully it's going to pay enough to make it worth their while. I can't go on that side because all the traffic is there, but let's take a look. That's all I got. It's all right, it's about 13,000 pounds, so it should pay not too, too bad. But there's a reason we're showing it to you here on the side of the road. You know, some days, you know, kind of wonder you're having a great day and then BAM stuff just goes south real quick right well south stuff went south here today but not too too bad not too too bad take a look at this oh no that's not the problem no no that's not the problem oh yeah the problem's over here that's the problem See, the problem is, this tire doesn't hold wind anymore. Yeah. And you know what the issue is as well, is that's a pretty important one that has to have wind in it. So, yeah. So, yeah. So for anybody that doesn't quite know, those particular tires that are on the front, you know, when you use that big thing out front and you do this and this and this and they kind of go like this and this and this, it's very important that they have air in them. Very important. And uh, it wasn't, I didn't hear a big boom or nothing. I'm just kind of driving through town. I'm down here in a place called Claire's Home. Claire's Claire's, Claire's home, Alberta. Minding my own business. Just coming through Claire's home. It's 50k an hour. 30 miles an hour. It's really slow going. And then I can just, I didn't hear nothing, but I can just kind of feel the truck doing this. I'm like, well, that's odd. You know, I'm in the slow lane. It's and then people are going by, pointing down on my tire, and I'm like, wow, oh, what the heck did I catch something? Catch a piece of garbage and it's dragging off my fender or something off my bumper or what? Pull over. And that's what you see. Flat tire. Didn't go boom, didn't go burst or nothing. I've had that happen. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to hang out on the side of the road here. Watch the traffic go by. Oh yeah, if you guys have ever, don't be worried about driving over these things, hey? They're just rubber or plastic. You gotta do whatever's gonna be safe. And I had to get over close to this thing to uh, make it safe for the tire guy when he's gonna put tires on, so. That way he's not in traffic. But yeah. Put some new ones on here the day I left.
That's what we're doing. What are you guys doing on a Saturday? Well, one thing we'll do here is we might as well get out our triangles. Oh boy. Okay, well, pull you out. Alright, pull you out. This is why you bury the triangles, because you never use them very often. Well, at least you better not, anyway. Alright, pull you out. Everybody keeps a raincoat, right? You always need a raincoat. That's if you got a particularly dirty truck. Get these all out. I need this one right here. Always at the back. But what's the point of having them at the front? This isn't supposed to happen all the time, right? Okay. What do we got here? I think this is my water pump. Keep a water pump for these Detroits. You never know. Am I gonna have to pull all this out? I guess so. Oh, what the hell? Might as well. We got cement. We got Elmers. We got glue. We got governors. We got air fittings. We got lots of hose clamps. Anybody been watching my channel? I knew I ran out of hose clamps when I didn't need to. I ran out of them when I needed one. So I had to put two together, so now I bought a whole new big thing of hose clamps. Water pumps. You never know when you're going to need a water pump. And it's always in the middle of nowhere when you need one. Fan belts. You always need fan belts. Because they always break when you're in the middle of nowhere and you need one. So anybody doesn't know, these are those little triangles that when you're broke down, you should be putting on behind the, the truck. Now the only problem with these is that, because nobody moves over, and we're in southern Alberta, and it's the wind is just atrocious down here. These will blow over in no time, but this is how you put them together. And they just fold over each other right here like this. See this? Fits in like that. And then this little guy goes in that orange thing there. Squeeze them together. See? Like that. But they'll just fold over so then you spin them. And then that's how they stand. Just like that. So let me get these all. Should be three in a pack. One, two, three, and we'll go lay them out behind us so everybody can uh, knock them over. And but at least we'll say we're we'll be safe. Stay tuned. All right, there we go. Got them set up. There's no real manual as to how to set them up. Just set them up so nobody pulls in behind you, and then hopefully everybody moves over. But nobody moves over. Except some of the big boys. Look at this old girl going by. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. Woo! Nice looking cab over. Might as well get this ready for when he comes. These just pop off. These just pop off. All right. All right. All right. Anybody else hate the wind? Not a fan. Put those in there so we don't lose them. Might as well get these ready for when he comes. I could just leave them here, I guess. They'll blow all over. Why not? Just for show, anyway, right? 
first day. All right, let's go have a coffee. All right, we found the problem. It's on the inside. And as you can see, we're cracked on the rim, so. Let the adventure continue. Okay, as I'm putting everything back here, it's a little bit later. Four hours since, uh, well, five hours, I guess, since I called the guy. He was busy, though. So here's what, you saw what happened there. I'll put it in the video here. The rim was cracked. So eventually after hitting all them potholes that a guy kind of hits accidentally here and there, the rim got cracked, so. Yeah, now you can hear it. You can see it right there. So, the good thing about that though, is that I can get rims pretty cheap at home. So what we did was we took off trailer tire here. The tire is perfect. Steer tire is absolutely fine. It's just the rim. So I just need a new rim. So we got the steer tire here. But see, it kind of looks just like that one. So all we did was take this tire off the trailer and we put it on the steer. Just to get me rolling. Now they say steer tires are supposed to be stronger sidewalls and whatever else. I don't know. The tire geeks, they tell you all that stuff, right? But I know them folks at Boots Transport, they've also just put on trailer tires on the front on steering. And I don't think they've had too much trouble. They've had some pretty good success. So I might do that as well. We'll see. But here's the, there you go. So it's just a call out. Just have to have the guy call out here. Just had him come out. Service call. And I didn't have to buy nothing. So that's, that's good. So now the adventure of just putting everything back in here. It never fits right, so. Whew. Not too bad. Nice working when nobody else is around. Woo, that's heavy. 
That is heavy. She's not heavy, she's my lady. Take it anymore. Ding, ding, ding. We stand for rights and freedoms. Come on! Blah, 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 blah. In a weird mood today. After all the chaos of last night, I wake up this morning and I'm in a kind of a good, weird mood. Don't know why. Adversity makes you. Funnier? <laughs>